Hi, this is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, December 28th, through this coming Sunday, January 3rd, 2016. I can't believe this is my last reading of 2015 and my first reading of 2016. <laughs> Very nice energy. I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas and you are that you are enjoying some very lovely heart-based connections during this festive season. Last week gave us the powerful energy of both the winter solstice and a Christmas Day full moon. Lovely alignment with that. And this week we're building upon that expansive energy with New Year's. And I know that you're all attuned to the new beginnings energy that January 1st brings. So please honor yourself and your soul path by mindfully taking inventory of your life. Take a moment to first identify all that you no longer wish to be carrying with you or no longer wish to be involved with. These are people, things, situations, circumstances, ideas, beliefs, habits, history that you've been clinging on to, stories that you keep trying to explain to people. It's time to let these things fall away from you. So please do something tangible to mark their release. Write them down on a piece of paper Describe what it is that you're ready to, you know, let fall away in your life. And then burn that piece of paper or tear it into pieces and release it into the wind or a waterway. Set your intentions to let these things go and then show the universe your determination by physically releasing them in some way. This is going to clear your energy field so these things that you no longer need f fall away. And this is going to create lovely space for all the new things that you are now ready to enjoy. Perfect New Year's exercise. So once you've done your releasing ceremony, it's time to formulate all these fresh, new, wonderful things that you're eager to welcome into your life and focus upon what's in your best interest and what's your highest potential. And then tangibly list it all out by writing it or drawing it or making a vision board, write a song or a poem, act it out, dance it out, do something. Because in essence, you need to start tangibly, physically, audibly, putting all this wonderful wishes and dreams and goals out into the atmosphere, out so the universe can assist you in every way to manifesting them into your now reality. So use this New Year's, this beautiful weekend, this beautiful week ahead to take your inventory, release everything that's no longer serving you, and then welcome in all the new stuff that you're ready to enjoy. It's beautiful, powerful energy. So, the pendulum chose for our ending 2015 and welcoming in 2016 Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Angel Tarot cards with this beautiful artwork by Steve A. Roberts. Wonderful deck. Most popular with my pendulum. <laughs> We've got our three rows, money, success, and well-being. Let's spread these out and see what we got this week. This is your money row. Lots of helpful people there. I can tell you at a glance. This is psychic and intuitive connection and its relationship. As well as creativity. Beautiful message. So let's go over these and get it completely. All the details for your complete reading for this important week. So we're starting with this Queen of Water card. 
very um, helpful person here that wants to point out for you about your intuition. Very strong card of intuition. Reminding you that you know what to do when you tap into your calm central core. Then you can trust your instincts. And trusting your instincts and feelings about other people too. Pay attention to those gut feelings that you get. This is the card of uh, beautiful family love and that loving home life. This is pulling directly from the full moon at Christmas, which was in Cancer. Beautiful energy with that. Um, so bringing your energy forward from that Christmas um, full moon to build all your loving relationships. Relationships developing to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. I like this. Reminding you to put yourself first. You've done a lot of work over Christmas, so now you deserve some much, you know, loving downtime for you. You are also tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. So allow those traits to serve you and allow someone else who is tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving to help you this week, help you with your success, help you with this beautiful intuitive and relationship connection. And then the high priestess, number two, is bringing things to you. <laughs> She's reminding you as well, listen to your intuition. Because listening to and trusting your intuition is going to give you a lot of the guidance that you need and the answers that you're seeking. All your emotions and empathic feelings are valid. So pay attention to these intuitive clues. Um, you are very psychic, and it's safe to recognize all three of these cards, <laughs> as you'll see, are pointing out that you're very intuitive, you're very psychic. So pay attention and trust the um, ideas that you're getting. It's safe to recognize and trust this guidance. So take a moment to seek your guidance and seek those ideas so you can formulate the plans that are going to make you feel the absolute happiness. Go within, meditate, listen, allow Archangel Haniel to help you tap into your own high priestess energy because that consideration is going to help you make the best decisions, help you, you know, bring what you want to bring for this new fresh year into your experiences every day. And then this next card, the Page of Water, heightens psychic abilities. See, they're, they're going to make sure for your money roll, you've got the intuition, you've got the psychic ability, follow that guidance. The Page of Water, this is a card all about emotional connections, both friendship and love connections. These uh, reminders that you're psychic and, and to allow these abilities. And also to take it, you know, to even another level by um, being open and sharing your feelings with those that you care about. Allow these, uh, allow new relationships into your life and also build upon your cherished closest connections to enable them to reach new heights of heart-centered connection. The page is always fresh, new energy. Water is emotion. So you are intuitive, you are sensitive, artistic, and friendly. And also allow other people who are intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly to assist you at this very important time of the year. Allow new people, new relationships to, you know, enter a new phase. Please trust your psychic abilities. You're being given the guidance that you need. So when you trust that and you feel safe with it, it helps it to flow more easily for you. It helps you to get more reliable guidance and answers for yourself. The seven of air, seven is introspection. It's about what you're thinking on the inside. So this says that on the inside, you're being a bit hesitant 
because you need more information or because you're assuming things and those assumptions perhaps are inaccurate. Assumptions always trip us up. So just breathe and realign and again, trust your intuition. You may prefer to do things on your own right now. This is a card a bit of holding yourself apart. But see, there's all these helpful people. You got a lot of helpful people here. So don't isolate yourself and realize there's a lot of helpful people in this spread and in your life. And welcome that assistance to move you along, to kickstart things. This visual, this picture here, this is, you know, they're just going around in a circle. <laughs> So it's like the carousel. When you're on the inside and you're analyzing and assuming things, you're just going in a circle. So this card is telling you, don't do too much of that. And the next card is really important. They're just pulling me, pulling me to this next card because this card is pointing out that everything's okay. Everything's gonna be amazing. Everything's gonna work out. So go ahead and move on those projects. Don't just keep going around on a circle on the inside. Outside, around you, things are moving. The momentum has built. So move on your projects. You're going to get that raise or the promotion or the reward or the recognition that you've been seeking. It's all in play. So allow these people to help you. People that are generous, professional, responsible, practical. Because you've got the successful time. Go ahead, confidently accept these opportunities you're offered because you've got the Midas touch. That Midas touch is telling you everything's going to go your way. It's all going to work out. So get out of, you know, all this introspection being in your head too much and allow the world to meet your needs. And then you've got another helpful person, four of them here. You don't need to isolate because here comes the Knight of Air who is intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. And he's reminding you that as you accept this success, as you go ahead and realize these opportunities are in alignment and you start saying yes, things are really going to start rolling. The momentum is really going to pick up. You've got rapid movement and gaining momentum. So keep your head and also... They are very clear reminding me, seek those creative solutions. A lot of these cards have been about your creativity is also part of that intuition and your psychic connection, and they're part pointing out to you that creativity is valuable and important. They are going to give you your best outcomes. You are also intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. So creative solutions... Go ahead, review what you need to review, but move with the momentum. Allow these opportunities to serve you. And then this great dreamer card, probably one of my favorite cards in the deck. The dreamer doesn't pull from the past. This is our beautiful New Year's Fresh Beginnings card. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. So go ahead and take that leap of faith and pursue your happiest dreams and do it for you. Just please do it for yourself and not for anyone else. This card um, is about you authentically being yourself. It does not pull from the past. So please let all that stuff go that isn't serving you. Please make that a part of your New Year's routine that you're going to let stuff go that is not part of your future. That's how they're wording it for me. The dreamer, Archangel Metatron, reminding you the dreamer is about fresh new beginnings. It's about the future. So please let everything go in your life that is not a part of those future dreams that you want to enjoy. And again, be positive, be optimistic, and gratefully accept all these beautiful opportunities, unexpected opportunities. Follow your dreams. Things are lining up for you. So please don't look back. Don't be melancholy. Don't be nostalgic. Look forward. What is it I want to create now? Beautiful energy. <laughs> the Five of Fire says, 
when this card comes, it's because you've started analyzing. And I know that's a default pattern for a lot of people. But five is conflict, so this competing goals and bothersome details, that happens when you start analyzing. And I know it's difficult for many, but please don't delay. Please don't shut down your promising goodness because you're too busy analyzing. Analyzing stops energy. Analyzing shuts down the momentum. So please rise above hashing things out and, you know, seek positive, expansive energy of all these great cards of opportunities and abundance and new beginnings because that's where your alignment is. The seven of air, when you're going within too much and you're isolating yourself a bit, and this five of fire says, I'm analyzing to the point that things kind of shut down. Don't let that happen. And then also to reassure you, eight is money and responsibility, and Archangel Raguel wants to remind you to be fair, to be guided by love and all that you do. Remember or take faith in that decisions are going to go in your favor. And if you literally are waiting on a legal matter, it's going to go in your favor. Great card to um, align you with that. But in general, please do what's right and stand up for yourself. Speak your truth. Lovingly speak your truth. And make the decision that includes everybody's best interest. This is justice. This is balance. Everybody ends up on top. It's all beautiful, wonderful energy with this. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Archangel Raguel will help you with that. And allow these fresh new opportunities. Allow this beautiful energy of the new year to align you to very... All those things that are going to make you the happiest. Just that perfect, let it go if it's not serving you. Don't keep having expectations of something that's not happening for you. Drop that and shift and pivot and look at what you authentically want to bring in that's better aligned for you. Your highest potential, your highest happiness. Have a wonderful New Year's. Happy, happy New Year's. Happy 2016. Hugs and kisses and blessings to 2015. Thank you for all the goodness you've brought for us. And yay, now we're ready for 2016. Wonderful energy. If I can help you in any way with a personal reading, please contact me. My website is spiritpathways.net. And I would love to give you a reading, give you all the understanding and clarity that you need to move forward to this highest potential that's calling you and beckoning you and begging you to pay attention and come that way. So yes, go to my website, get in touch with me, and let's have a reading and let's make 2016 the best year ever. Have a great week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.